Jen, your pudgy picker, here in my office at my desk with a, I was going to say an awesome saver's haul. I mean, it's a good saver's haul. I'm not going to say awesome, but it, you know, it, it's up there. It's It's got some cool things. Only spent $25 today. Not sure what that's all about, but uh, let's jump right in. I got some fabric. I got a couple things to go in my booth. I got a couple things to go on eBay. Did I get anything for myself today? I don't think I did. I did look at a purse, but it wasn't exactly what I needed. I've been looking for a smaller crossbody purse to take on vacation, which is coming up soon. And I decided just to change the strap on the one that I had. Problem solved, didn't have to spend any money. So let's get right into it and show you what I got. So let me show you what I got for my booth. I got this very adorable <laughs> orange elephant. He's doing this, which is cute. He was $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for him. So I'll probably put five or six dollars on him. He'll go out to my booth. He does fit the aesthetic of my office, but I have enough I have enough stuff in here right now. Um, this I thought was adorable. Found out it is a Hobby Lobby piece. So it says Hobby Lobby $18.99 and then it was, what, $4.99, so I paid $2.50. And it's this pink frame with this adorable little puppy dog. I thought that was cute. People like whimsical stuff like this. So uh, in this instance, I'll probably leave uh, the price tag on, uh, the original one. And then I'm probably going to put, I'd say, six or eight on this. It should do fine. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh... This, I've been listing stuff on eBay, and I just listed, or got one ready to be listed. It's a different brand, but if you ever see these, these usually do pretty good. These are, uh, they call it Sleep Easy. It is a noise-canceling, like, sleep sounds. So, this one, I didn't plug it in before I left. Hopefully everything's okay with it, but the brand is Sleep Easy, and it has the on and off button, and then it adjusts for sound. So yeah, I mean if these actually worked or sound like a real fan, I would probably carry these on vacation, but I don't know. I'll have to check and make sure everything's good. Uh, the one I just listed, I think I listed it for like 35 It was a good brand. So I'm not sure about this one, but this should do fine. Um, what else? So it's not only sleeps, like you sleep with it or listen to it, but it also uh, is noise canceling because I had a doctor's office I went to and they had one of these in the waiting room so that you didn't hear a lot of that, you know, they're talking in the back and maybe you hear medical information. So, you know, that's where I originally saw it because I was like, what in the world is that? Um, I did get, I, I did get the kind, the one that had the hand press for $1.50, I got these. These are the Tupperware uh, hamburger makers. You put the meat in there, and then you got the hand thing. People are always looking for extras, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put this at my booth. I do have one of these, but it, like I said, it has the handle part. Maybe they'll buy it together. So there's one, two, three, four, five to make five burgers. People still like these. Some of the old Tupperware stuff, depending on what it is, people still like, and they still look for it. They still use it. So I looked like a, I did look at the purses. I've been looking for one for vacation. I ended up just changing the strap on the one I have because the strap I have on my everyday one is it's very stiff. So when you set it down, it's like awkward. So I got one that almost looks like a tapestry one. So I think that's going to work much better. Um, so I ended up not buying a purse, which was nice because I don't, I don't want to spend the money if I don't have to. So I found this, and I believe, I believe this is a makeup bag. It is by Lug, and it's called a trolley. Now the reason I think they call that is because you got this strap here. So if you have a suitcase, you could just slide this on the suitcase. Uh, and it's got a, a pouch in the back. It's got one here, it's got one on each side, and then the inside is lined. So this could be a vanity case or a, uh, it's not a cooler, vanity case, makeup case, etc. 
I checked all the zippers and made sure everything was in working order. Because there ain't nothing worse than getting a bag and you're excited about selling it and then nothing works on it. So yeah, Love Brand is a pretty good brand. It's very sturdy. It's this kind of easy wash material. This was $4.99, so I paid $2.50, so not too bad. So that'll go on eBay. I didn't even look that up because I know it's a good brand. And this one's very clean. The only thing that it was like, oh, maybe that's not good, is I was looking on the inside. And there's some orange. And I'm like, oh, no, is that stained? No, it's the orange on the pattern. So, yeah, it's got, like, uh, birds, like uh, jungle animals, like leopards and an elephant. So, yeah, so I think that should do pretty well. I already have a little train case that I use for uh, all of my vanity stuff when I travel. Um, I think I'd need one slightly bigger than this because of all my hair care products. So it's a small one I got. I don't even know where I got it. I got a really good price on it. But so there's that. Sometimes you look stuff up and other times you're like, it's clean, I know the brand, don't even bother. So let me show you the uh, fabric I got. They do occasionally, if the pieces are not real big, they'll put them together. So this one was $2. And it's got the little ghosts and little tombstones on it. <laughs> they looks, do they look happy or do they look mean? They look kind of mean, don't they? So yeah, $3 a yard. There's at least a yard here, so that should be good. Um, these, these two, I believe, were together, maybe. I'm getting confused because that doesn't have a price on it. I wonder if those were with the $3.99 one. We just have this pink one and then a pink striped one. They don't have a price. Sometimes they just, they don't pin them together with the tag, uh, plastic tag. They just clip them on a hanger. So, yeah. Um, this one was $2.49. So, it was a dollar and a quarter. And it's this really pretty royal, royal blue. There's probably two yards on here. So, I sell my fabric for $3 a yard unless it's an extra wide piece or it's an upholstery. Then I go a little bit higher, but not a lot. Um, I think these two were together too, yeah. There's this green one with different color polka dots. So this was $2.49, so that was a dollar and a quarter. And then the one that was with that was another polka dot one, kind of a minty, minty green. So there's that one. And then the last piece was $3.99, so it was two. And it's these very cool little French bulldogs with sweaters on. Some have sweaters, some do not. But there's at least two yards of that. So not too bad, I thought that was cute. So those will all go into my booth. I'm running out of water. Uh, let's see. So the last three items I'm going to show you, I always pick these up. They do sell. They may not sell as fast as I want them. I think one's going to do better than the other. But uh, let me show you the first one. This one is uh, $6.99, so it was $3.50. And it is, a, of course, a vanity mirror. Look at the handle on this. It's very pretty. And then it has this, uh, you know, standing out on it. Now I point that out because the next one has some uh, where something was stuck on here. So I think it had the same thing. Um, what you can do with these, there's fabric in there. You can always, uh, you, most of these you can take the handle off. Watch me break it. Let me see if this one will do it. No, maybe they're glued. I had one that was similarly shaped to this one that was my grandmother's. Um, as a teenager, I accidentally, I had it on my bed and I sat on it and I broke the mirror. But then uh, when I started thrifting and reselling, I found an ex almost an exact one. I bought it, took the mirror out, put it in mine. So mine is good again. I have it on my dresser in my room. And then the third one, this one was uh, $3.49, so it was $1.75. 
It's a unique shape. Some people, you know, if they get the real ornate ones, they like to hang these on the wall. But I just love, especially like the beveled glass. I don't know. It's just such a nice touch. Um, but I just thought that these were so pretty. I have a, uh, a uh, mirror and brush set that's out there. I'm thinking some of these might clean up really well. I don't know what's on there. But we'll figure it out. We'll clean it up the best we can. And if not, somebody will love it in the condition that it's in. So these will go into my booth. This one will go for slightly more. I could even say probably 18 on this one. 18 to 20. And then these, let's say they don't clean up at all. I'll probably put eight on each. Something like that. It's funny because sometimes people will come up to you at the mall and they're like, well, this has some damage. Can I ask for a lower price? And it's already marked lower because the, the vendor knows that. Um, I've had stuff. Uh, I came across, I had a, a group of elephants that I got. You probably remember this. And one of the pink elephants was so old, so cute, but it had a break and a major repair on it. That's not real obvious when you're just looking at it on a shelf. So instead of redonating it or throwing it away, I put a dollar on it. It's still in my booth. Somebody hasn't picked it up yet, but somebody's going to pick it up and say, oh, that's so cute, but it's probably too much. What a dollar. So it's as is, and somebody will love it just, just, you know, just like it is. So I don't know. I hate to see old things, even if they're repaired, you know, or broken to, to somehow end up in a landfill. I don't know. That's just me. So I believe that's all I got today. I'm going to get this fabric ready, uh, get these uh, hand mirrors cleaned up. But they're so pretty. Could you imagine if you had a whole, like, wall of these? Oh, it'd be so pretty. So, yeah. So I'm going to get busy doing that. My hands are, like, dirty from handling them. So I know that they're going to clean up a little bit. So that's all I got for you today. Again, I appreciate you stopping in and talking to me, listening to me ramble. Um, uh, vacation is coming up soon, so my videos for the next two weeks might be a little bit, you know, here, there, and everywhere, and the content might be not what you're used to. I did want to post a little bit about my vacation, uh, you know, kind of fun stuff. So I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in, and make sure you leave this comment a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell. Anytime I put anything up, you will be the first to know. So I'll see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye. Uh. I won't put that in the video. Oh, we started recording.